What is going on, everybody? And welcome into week four injury updates. This is, the, this is a unique one. It is a 14 personnel front yard fantasy crossover. I am your host. Over event. <laughs> it's, a, it's huge. It's massive. Everybody's <laughs> talking about it. Uh, I am your 14 personnel host, Justin Wright. I am joined by co-founder of Front Yard Fantasy, John Luke Garofalo, JL, Ooh, as we know him lovingly. What's going on, JL? Not much. How you doing, Justin? Good, good. This is this is a long time in the making. Obviously, we've been on streams, but if you're seeing this video, there's a chance you're finding it on 14 Personnel or Front Yard Fantasy. It's on both channels. It's Subscribe like Pokemon. You get you have two versions. It's the same game, but you have you get two versions. Yep, fantasy football Pokemon. We are on brand here. <laughs> <laughs> right on brand. What else? What else did you expect? Um, <laughs> well, let's. We got ten guys here. We're gonna update you on their injury status. They were either. You know, missing practice throughout the week, missed a game last week, and we're just giving you what you should do with them, you know, heading into week four here. So first name on the list, Lamar Jackson. He is dealing with a back injury. He would he did not practice Wednesday or Thursday, got in a full practice on Friday. Before that Friday news, I was not going to start him. If he was limited, I was not interested in playing Lamar because your back's pretty important when you rely on your legs so much. I mean, are you are those concerns gone now for you, Jail? I mean, they're not they're not gone. Like you said, a back injury is is tough, but it's Lamar Jackson, and they're gonna play yeah. him, and and he's gonna find a way to run. Uh, and and even if he doesn't run as much as he normally does, he's been pretty good in the passing game against the Lions. They really focus heavily on the passing game because it was working. Yeah. And so uh, he did run a lot in that game too. Don't get me wrong, but uh, but you know, <laughs> I, I think that he'll be fine. Yeah, I'm with you. So, I mean, one name I want to throw out, because somebody asked me this, you know, in my DMs prior to Friday's news, Kirk Cousins or Lamar Jackson this week? Oh, Lamar like, Jackson. It's gross. Yeah, it's gross. I, I lean Lamar as well. If he was limited uh, again on Friday, I'd pick, I'd pick Kirk Cousins. That full practice, I am putting a lot of weight on that. So, Lamar, lock him in as a, you know, a top 10, top 8 quarterback again this week. What about Number two on our list? What, what about Ooh, uh, Jalen yeah. Jalen Hurts or Lamar Jackson? Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. I, I love. I love Jalen Hurts in fantasy, but I'm still going to take Lamar just because they're the same player. I just think Lamar is better. Yeah, much better. <laughs> that's that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Number two here, we got Dalvin Cook. Missed last week with a sprained ankle. However, he's back this week. He has gotten in two limited practices Thursday and Friday. He's a he's one of those start your studs guys, right? Yeah, you can't you can't sit Dalvin Cook. You got you got to start him if he's playing. Uh, they they looked great last week. Uh, Alexander Madison looked great. So you know yeah. I can't. It is it is against Cleveland, which is going to be a tough matchup. Cleveland is very good defense, but you got to play Dalvin Cook. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's really not a lot to say. There's no one, like, there's no fringe guy that I'm considering over him. Like, I'm not considering Javante Williams with Melvin Gordon banged up. I'm not I'm not going to make that switch. Like, there's no way. Right. Yeah. Right. You, no. you got him. You got to start him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, think about how bad you're going to feel if he goes off, right? And he's on your bench. <laughs> That's 90% of my decisions. Like, if, if I said <laughs> somebody, like, am I going to feel stupid? Yeah. Loss of version well? bias. Yep. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always like, can I live? Well, can I live with losing if I sat Delvin Cook? Yeah. No, I can't. So <laughs> number three here, we have Antonio Gibson, who was you know perfectly healthy leaving week three, pops up with a shin injury. Now he did not practice Thursday. However, he came back to practice Friday. Thursday feels like a rest day. Um, is he in the same boat as Delvin Cook to a lesser extent? <laughs> To a lesser extent, I think you can sit Antonio Gibson if you have better options. Uh, but most people are not. Where you drafted him, you're just you're likely he's going to be your your running back two at best, running back one at worst. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think that I think that you got to start him. Yeah. So I mean, who who are some names that you can sit him? Who who would some of those better names be for you? Who you can sit for Antonio Gibson? You're saying if you're sitting Antonio Gibson, you said you technically could sit him. Who would be someone you'd play him over or would play over him? Let's see. Let me, let me pull up a, a list here. Let me think. Let's something. say you got Miles Gaskin. No, I'm playing Antonio Gibson. What about Chris Carson? What about, uh, Chris, I would play Chris Carson over him. Uh, Interesting. What, okay. Eileen Gibson. Eileen Gibson on that? 
Yep. Okay. And what then, about uh, what about um, Chuba Hubbard? Oh, Antonio Gibson. Yeah, Antonio. I, I saw plenty of Hubbard. Like he's he's going to get volume, but he's fine. Like he's not. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be a back end RB two, probably just barely top twenty. I think Gibson what? could still be a top ten running back this week. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. What about uh, Jonathan Taylor? Oh, Jonathan Taylor is not leaving my lineup against Miami. I will play, play him. Anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm playing both of them. I'll find a way to get. You know, both some people are saying if you got Jonathan Taylor and Antonio Gibson, you're probably you got to start both of them because you're probably uh you're hurting. That's pick one and two. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <that's>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number three here we have Daryl Henderson. Or this is number four. Number four here, Daryl Henderson <laughs> dealing with a rib injury. He he's a start if. He's a he is a start technically again. Yeah, he's he's two limited practices. It's tough to sit him, but how do you feel about it? He's looked great when he's played. The first two games, he looked fantastic. Yeah. Uh, this is a rib injury, and from what I understand, this is going to be a pain tolerance type of thing. Uh, rib injuries are, are no joke. The thing that gives me the the question mark here really is the defense that he's going up against. He's going against the Cardinals. Their defensive line is fantastic. And I could see this game being one where the running backs really need to just really just, uh, you know, run those like bruising run plays where they're just like running full force, uh, just trying to make something happen. Yeah. Establish something. Uh, And, and, and I feel like with his injury, that just, it's a lot of factors going against him that worry me. I could see them sort of throttle his usage from what we saw, even if he is playing. Yeah. So uh, I got two names here. I'll throw out for you. Javante Williams or Daryl Henderson? I would probably start Javante Williams in this game. So would I. I'm playing Javante, especially with Melvin, also dealing with a rib injury. Again, he's not on today's episode, but there's the news. Uh, and then <laughs> there's the news. He made it. Um, and then Chase Edmonds against the Rams here in what could be a shootout. Should be a shootout. Uh, I would probably – I'll probably give Chase Edmonds. So would I, yeah. Daryl Anderson is is the very back end, I think, of RB2s. He's a, he's a flex more likely than not. I get it's tough to sit him, but I think you may – if you have guys to play over him, you I think you play them over him, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. The risk is just is a little too worse. Yep, exactly. So, all right, let's go to – we're jumping to wide receivers here. We have Deontay Johnson first. He missed last week. However – he is back. He was a full participant on Thursday and a full participant on Friday. It's wheels up for Deontay Johnson if you got him. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't, no, you, we could break it down, guys, him. but <laughs> we're not. Is doctors. there anything? No, he's That's practicing. Bad. He looks good. Load up your Deontay Johnson. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, we'll just keep it quick on him. He's a top twenty wide receiver. To his teammate, though, Chase Claypool, dealing with a hamstring injury. It was not there Wednesday. He popped up on the injury report Thursday with a limited practice, and he's limited again on Friday. Is he another one? If you have better options, you're going away from him, or are you starting him? Yeah, he's another one who's in that gray area that, you know, I'm not going to panic and sit him uh, for for someone who, you know, like maybe like a, I wouldn't like put in like Terrace Marshall over him or, or something like that. Uh, yeah. But I am concerned. Hamstring in- injuries are those those like, tricky traps in fantasy football right where you you know you can get a player you load them up and then all of a sudden they you know they're only in for like 10 percent of snaps so i would be i would be concerned if you have a better option or if you need that like really boomer bust like that high upside type of play um not boomer bust sorry high upside type of play like chase playful you're going up a (laughs) you know a, a tough matchup in your own fantasy league then i would start him i wouldn't be too you know too worried then yeah, I'm the same way. I'm not going to play like KJ Osborne over Chase Claypool. Yeah, like just no. another guy just getting hit with a ricochet shot. Here, but Raymond. Yeah, like just no, don't do that. Play Claypool <laughs> in that instance. Most likely he's a flex for you, anyways. What about uh, Tim, another... Patrick, Tim, Tim Patrick or Chase Claypool? Chase Claypool. Chase Claypool. Okay. I think I, I'm Claypool. comfortably on Claypool there. Yeah. Hopkins. We got DeAndre Hopkins here. Obviously was banged up last week. Full participant on Friday. Again, another rib injury. These things linger. We know it. But, I mean, you're starting him. <laughs> like, yeah, practice really... <laughs> in full Thursday, which is good to see. But you got to yeah, start DeAndre he, Hopkins. Yeah, he's in. Next one here. And you're, you're going to notice the graphic changed a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Julio Jones dealing with a hamstring injury. Did not practice at all this week. 
there's still talk he could be active, but again, no practice uh, whatsoever. Actually, I have some pr- breaking news as of two minutes ago. Julio Jones and AJ Brown ruled out. Well, guys, there you go. Julio Jones, just, we're on top of this. Just, just good thing that, that did not break like five minutes, like five minutes later. We would have had to just cut that whole part out of this video. It would have just well, it's here, guys. It's here. You, you got breaking it. news. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking Definitely news. sit. Julio Jones, no question mark. We got the full red. He is not playing. <laughs> well, this next one's going to be great. Uh, sit AJ Brown. Now, as this one's heard. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, guys. Get frisky. Play him. So then I guess let's talk about Nick Westbrook Akine. Per JJ Zacharyson, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> yes. So I hope. I hope. Is he? Are you starting him? Like, is he a very viable flex against the Jets? I think he's an absolutely flyable, flyable flex. Absolutely flyable <laughs> flex, Nick Westbrook Akine. Uh, you know, he's he's he wasn't getting a ton of targets last week. Uh, really, he, he hasn't been a high target type of guy. So I'm not like rushing to play him. You know, I'm not like. I'm not going to put him in over anyone who's really proven it, but who else is it, are the targets going to go to? I, who was it? Scott Fish was saying, came into our stream yesterday and was like, Racy McMath? None of us even knew that was a real Chester player. Chester Rogers. <laughs> Chester Rogers. Like, no, it, yeah. you know, I think he could have an opportunity. So I, I would I would throw him into like the emergency start category. Yep. So him or Corey Davis against the Titans? I would go. Oh God, that one sucks. Uh, I right. would go. I would go Corey Davis. So would I, and it's it's close though, and I think that yeah. says a lot. So let's go out one more. Well, he's out. Like, I was going to say Julio Jones. Nick, let me up uh, and down West, fantasy pros. Westbrook Akine or Rondell Moore. Westbrook Akine comfortably. Christian Kirk. Same. Thing. Westbrook Akine. Yep. I, I don't yeah. know who it's going to be from Arizona. It's going to be one of those two. And I don't want to guess which one. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's fair. Oh, I got a good one for you. Devonta Smith or, or Westbrook Akine? Devonta Smith against KC. I, yeah. I think he gets right. I, I yeah. still, I, I'm going to go with talent. Yeah, talent and hopefully game script. Hopefully it's a high scoring game. <laughs> exactly. So to close out the episode, we have the man that lives on the injury report, it seems. We have George uh. Kittle dealing with a calf injury. And the reason he's yellow with the start and a question mark is how do you sit him if he's active? We've seen him get little to no practice and come out and put up 20 points before. And do you really want to roster a second tight end to sit George Kittle? Uh, I don't want to, but that is the position that we are in here in week four with George Kittle. Uh, you know, Shanahan is saying that, that it's not guaranteed Kittle is going to play. Uh, he hasn't practiced all week. I'm going to see whether he practices today. That'll be a, a pretty, uh, I think, a pretty big indicator. Uh, if he doesn't practice today, I'm, I'm, if I have Kittle and he's my only, only tight end, I'm going to try and probably roster another tight end. Yep. So one tight end I, I would play over him specifically, and he's going to be out there on waivers, Dawson Knox against Houston. I will play over George Kittle if Kittle is healthy. That's how, like, you're going far down the list here. Yeah. What about, well, this maybe will be an easy one, but Higby? Oh, yeah. Higby's a top 10, top 10 tight end for me. I, I don't know if he'd be out there on waivers. If you can scoop him, great. I, I think he's an every week starter to begin with. Yeah, I agree. And then, what about what about Kasiki? I was literally just looking at it. Yeah, I, get, I don't trust Brissett to get the ball outside often enough or consistently yeah. enough. So I think Kasicki's a huge beneficiary. Um, I, I'm okay playing him over Kittle this week as well. Last one, Evan Ingram <laughs> or George Kittle. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. I would I would probably stay with Kittle at that point. So would no. I. I'm never playing Evan Ingram. I don't care no, I don't who else is to. active. <laughs> I I was believing in him coming into the season, and oh god! After one game, I'm like, nope, not it's over. It's, <laughs> it's over. over. <laughs> Quickly jump ship. Oh man! All right, guys. Well, that does it for us here. Remember to subscribe to Front Yard Fantasy. Subscribe to the 14 Personnel YouTube. Check us out on Twitter up there in the corner. Front Yard FYF 14P Fantasy. All right. 
JL, yeah, if you, it was a pleasure. If you've, landed, if you've landed on one of our channels, then you can get to the other one by just scrolling down. Bottom of the yeah, channel should be there. Friends of, <laughs> friends of respective channel that you're <laughs> Exactly. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.